Hello and hello everyone. Welcome to class 12 biology. In this video on chapter 15 biodiversity and conservation, we are going to discuss about loss of biodiversity and causes of biodiversity losses. So regarding loss of biodiversity, we are going to talk about extinction of certain species. We are going to talk about how and why certain species they, they have gone extinct and why some species they are facing the threat of extinction. Right. So uh, when we talk about loss of biodiversity, one international group, the name of one international group you have to remember that is IUCN. IUCN is short for International Union of Conservation of Nature. This particular international organization at uh, regular intervals, they release a list of organisms which are facing threat of extinction. So they release this uh, list after careful scientific assessment of their status. Right. So in that particular list, they also release the names of organisms which have gone extinct as well. So in one of their lists, which was released back in 2004, they have documented the extinction of about 784 species in the last 500 years. Right. And they have said that in past 20 years, 27 species have gone extinct. Right. And if you look at their list, you will find that certain groups of organisms, they are more vulnerable compared to others. Uh, among vertebrates, you will find that amphibians, they are more vulnerable to extinction compared to other vertebrates. You will find that marine corals, they are more vulnerable or they are more threatened compared to other invertebrates. Right. And uh, that particular list, 2004 IUCN Red List, it contains the names of 15,500 species of plants and animals which are facing the threat of extinction. And regarding the extinction of organisms in the recent years, we have to remember the names of these animals who have gone extinct from the natural environment in the past recent years. We have got dodo bird from Mauritius, quagga from Africa, thylacine wolf from Australia, stellar sea cow from Russia and we also have got three subspecies of tigers which have gone extinct from their natural environment. So names of these organisms or these animals who have gone extinct in the recent years, they are important from the examination point of view. Right. So uh, extinction in general, it is a natural phenomenon. Extinction has occurred in the past. And it is, it is going on right now. So species, they go extinct when they are not able to cope with the environmental changes. Let it be physical changes, let it be uh, biological changes. If the species, they are not able to cope with their changes, they go extinct since they are not able to breed. Right? So they will go extinct. Now, uh, I'm saying this is a natural phenomenon because uh, Extinction of large group of organisms called as mass extinction. It has happened in the past uh, in the past evolutionary history right uh, To be precise there has been five mass extinctions so far in the world's history right uh, in the biological or evolutionary history so This particular extinction is the sixth extinction or the sixth mass extinction but one difference between uh, the five past five mass extinctions and the present mass extinction is that this mass extinction is 100 to 1000 times faster than the previous five mass extinctions. And this speed of mass extinction, it is because of our own activities, because of human activities. And therefore, we are said to be responsible for the sixth mass extinction, which is happening at a very fast rate. So according to the latest IUCN red list, which you can find on their official website, you should check it out. You will find that uh, more than 32,000 species are currently threatened with extinction. Right. So IUCN, they have assessed about 120,000 different species of plants and animals. And they have found that out of them, 32,000 species are threatened with extinction. Right. Now, why are organisms undergoing extinction? Right. Why they are faced? with the threat of extinction. Right? So when we talk about the causes of biodiversity losses, we are talking about the causes behind species going extinct. Right? So there are four main reasons behind the loss of biodiversity. Therefore, it is called as the evil quadrant. So those four causes of biodiversity losses are, the first one is habitat loss and fragmentation. Second is over exploitation of organisms by human beings. 
Third one is uh, alien species invasions or we are talking about invasive species, the effects of invasive species. And the fourth one is co-extinctions. Right. So let us discuss about these four reasons or the evil quadrants, the reasons behind loss of biodiversity. Let us talk about them one by one. So the first one is habitat loss and fragmentation. Habitat loss and fragmentation is the most important cause of extinction of plants and animals. If the natural environment, if the home of plants and animals is lost due to human activity, the plants and animals, they face the risk of going extinct. And regarding habitat loss, we can give the example of loss of rainforest. It has been mentioned in your textbook that earlier, more than 14% of Earth's land surface used to be covered with rainforest. But now we have about 6% Earth's land surface covered with rainforest. Remaining rainforest, they have been cut down. And regarding that, we can give the example of Amazonian rainforest. We have discussed about Amazonian rainforest before. I told you this particular region of the uh, South American continent is called as the Amazon uh, rainforest. Right. This rainforest is so large, it's so vast that a significant amount of Earth's atmospheric oxygen is produced by this particular forest. A significant amount of carbon dioxide is also fixed by this particular forest. So therefore, this particular rainforest is also called as the lungs of the planet Earth. And now, this particular lungs of the planet Earth is facing the threat of deforestation. Which means, a large portion of Amazonian rainforest is cut down daily in order to make land available for agricultural purposes. For, go, for growing uh, important commercial crops like soya beans and also for raising cattle, right, for beef cattle. So uh, that is the threat faced by Amazonian rainforest. Right? Thousands of hectares of Amazonian rainforest has been cut down daily. Right? And not just that, uh, recently, in recent news you must have seen, Amazon rainforest is also facing the threat of forest fire. Right? A large portion of Amazon rainforest is burning down. And this is affecting the Earth's climate. Right? And uh, this is about the loss of habitat. Apart from that, animals and plants, they are also facing the uh, problem of degradation of their habitats due to pollution. So we can think about example of marine habitats. Marine habitats, they are getting polluted and the fishes and the organisms which grow within marine habitats, they are facing the uh, risk of going extinct. Right? And uh, the next is habitat fragmentation. What do we mean by habitat fragmentation? Habitat fragmentation means if the habitat, if a large habitat is broken down into small, small pieces, that is called as habitat fragmentation. So here I have illustrated, I have given an illustration of habitat fragmentation. If there's a large habitat, if there's a large forest, if that particular forest is broken down into two small, small forests, this is called as fragmentation. So it affects the species composition of the habitat right and some species they go extinct due to such fragmentation right uh, some of the organisms which need to uh, migrate from one place to the other some organisms they move from uh, place to place if their territories are really large right so uh, if that particular place uh, if their particular habitat is broken down into small small pieces it affects the behavior of the organism and the organism they undergo stress and they face the threat of undergoing extinction uh, one uh, example that i can think about of habitat fragmentation is building of roads or highways through the forest right if there is a large forest biodiversity rich forest if the government decides to make a road right in the middle of that particular forest this can have a negative impact on the biodiversity of the forest right this can affect the animals living in that particular forest lots of animals they get killed in road accidents right even a railway line can also badly affect the uh, organisms living in that particular forest right so uh, regarding this one you also you can also find some more information right uh, i have given you an assignment over here you can find out information about elephant corridors what do you mean by elephant corridors so you can do a little bit of research on that right and where are elephant corridors required and why are elephant corridors required right so it has got something to do with habitat fragmentation and the behavior of the elephants 
Okay, so you can find out information about that. So that is regarding the habitat loss and fragmentation, which is the most important cause of extinction of plants and animals. Right, out of four evil quadrants, this is the most important cause of uh, biodiversity loss. The second cause of biodiversity loss is overexploitation. So overexploitation of natural resources like plants and animals by the human beings due to human beings' greed that can lead to extinction of the species of plants and animals. So most extinctions of the past 500 years is said to be due to overexploitation of the uh, natural resources by human beings. So we have two examples of animals which have gone extinct due to overexploitation by human beings. So we have got stellar sea cow and passenger pigeon. So these two animals, they were hunted into extinction by the human beings. For example, stellar sea cow, it's a marine mammal. It was hunted into extinction for its blubber, that is fat under its skin, and for its meat by the sailors back in 1700s. Right. So uh, these two animals name you have to remember, they were hunted into extinction by the human beings. So it comes under the category of overexploitation. And nowadays, in present day, most of the marine fishes, they are being over harvested. Many vessels, they over harvest marine fishes. What do we mean by over harvestation? Over harvestation means overfishing of the marine, marine fishes. Right. So if the speed at which human beings they catch fish, if that speed is much faster than the speed at which the ocean can replenish its fish stock, that is called as overfishing or over harvesting of the marine fishes that can lead to the extinction of some of the commercially important fish species in the ocean right so that is about over exploitation which is another cause of uh, loss of biodiversity the third cause of biodiversity loss is alien species invasions right so we have invasive species those species which are non native Right. And these species, they become so abundant that they outcompete the indigenous species. Right. They outbreed the indigenous species, which can lead to the extinction of the indigenous species. So invasive species can lead to the extinction of indigenous species. We have one such example of Nile perch. So Nile perch, which is this large fish, it was released in Lake Victoria in East Africa for commercial purpose. And this fish led to the extinction of more than 200 species of cichlid fishes. These small native fishes, right, they were defenseless against uh, Nile perch and these Nile perch, they hunted the cichlid fishes into extinction. Right? So such can be the effect of invasive species upon indigenous species. We have also got the example of African catfish which was illegally introduced into Indian waters for aquaculture purpose. Right. Now this African catfish, Clarius garipinus, is out competing Indian native catfishes. And that can lead to the extinction of Indian catfishes. And these are examples of animals, right? invasive animals. We also have got example of invasive plants like Parthenium, Lantana. We, you might have seen this plant growing everywhere in our school compound. right? So this is an invasive species of weed. Right? Lantana is also an invasive species. Right. So they were introduced into India accidentally and now they are growing everywhere, out competing uh, native species. And that can lead to the extinction of native plant species as well. And we also have got the example of this particular plant, Picornia, which is also called as the terror of Bengal, right? uh, water hyacinth. So this water hyacinth plant, it can grow so fast that it can uh, cover the entire surface of a lake. Right. And it can also outcompete other um, aquatic plants. Right. So uh, these are the invasive species which can lead to the loss of biodiversity because they uh, outcompete, they outbreed the native indigenous species and lead to their extinction. The fourth cause of biodiversity loss is co-extinctions. In co-extinctions, when one species becomes extinct, another species which depends upon it in an obligatory way also becomes extinct. Now, in order to understand this particular process better, let us take example of uh, extinction of parasites along with their host species. So, let's say there is a host species. And on that host species, 
uh, there are parasites and these parasites they are obligatory parasites which means these parasites they cannot live on any other host but but just on that particular specific host now if that specific host goes extinct along with that host the parasites will also go extinct so therefore it is an example of coextinction right so extinction of parasites along with their host species is an example of coextinction another example is uh, in plant pollinator mutualism if the mutualism is obligatory which means the plant cannot survive without the pollinator and the pollinator cannot survive without the plant both will go extinct together so that is a co-extinction right we can think about the example of ficus wasp and ficus plant we have discussed about the mutual uh, relationship between these two organisms back when we were talking about population interactions right so ficus wasp they lay their eggs in the seeds of ficus plant and for the ficus plant ficus wasp acts like pollinator right and their mutualism is obligatory because ficus plant cannot survive without the ficus wasp and ficus wasp cannot survive without the ficus plant so both will go extinct together right so that is co-extinctions right so uh, these are the four evil quadrants or four reasons which leads to biodiversity losses right so in the next video we are going to talk about biodiversity conservation so please read about biodiversity conservation so this is going to be the final topic of our chapter okay so read about biodiversity conservation and you can watch the next video thank you